hello I hope this vlog finds you doing well today so on one of my messianic apologetics sites that I follow on Instagram this lovely person posted something that was so misguided and I was really sad to see that because they were talking about um, the messianic roots of Christmas and as I began to read what this person wrote, I thought, oh, yikes, this is full of paganism. And so I went, okay, I, I have to vlog about this. I, I don't want to vlog about Christmas because it's such a trigger for people, but it's the right thing to do. And so something that I have found is, is that Christmas is one of those topics that is just a real tender point and so I don't want to poke you but you know me and uh, I'm all about the truth and I'll talk about the hard things if that's what we got to do and so when I first began to read about the history and the origins of Christmas I really wanted to dialogue with the people around me about it and kind of pick their brain and see where their hearts at like why are why are we doing this? Like, should we be doing this? Should it look different? Um, and kind of hear people out on that because that's how I am about anything. I always want to know why do we do what we do? And so I found that a lot of people got really irritated by just the question or the conversation. And that got me really thinking, well, geez, Christmas is like the Christian golden calf. And that seems a bit like idol worship to me. And so I found that a little distasteful. So for me, where I landed was, if I was in a community where people were willing to just abolish Christmas, then I would have been like the Puritans who abolished Christmas um, a long time ago and I would just not do it now I'm surrounded by mostly uh, Gentiles who we who are either non-believers are Christians and so they want to celebrate Christmas many do it because they believe that they're honoring Jesus's birthday or because they're honoring winter solstice and so you know when in Rome do as the Romans so they say and so I do not honor Christmas but I do celebrate. I am not a Scrooge. I will have people over. I will feed them and I will love them. It's a day like any other to love the Son of God. But what I want to tell you is, is that the Catholic Church actually was appeasing the pagans who were unwilling to give up winter solstice and many of their holidays and their rituals. And it is actually a time where you're remembering Citronellis, and I'm probably saying that incorrectly. And so many people say, okay, well, the Catholic Church was redeeming um, this time. And, you know, I'm personally not in the business of redeeming things except for redeeming souls. But there are many people, and I'm clearly outnumbered, who believe strongly in redeeming this time. So I'm not trying to change your mind on that. What I would say is know where Christmas comes from, be able to have a conversation about it, and make sure that your convictions are rooted in truth. We know that we need to teach our children the truth, correct? And so when I realized that it wasn't so much my parents, but when I realized that the church, church growing up in Sunday school and so on and so forth, and then being in the sanctuary older, when I was older, hadn't taught me where this holiday comes from. And I was so blindsided that really um, created a cascade effect for me where I felt like I couldn't trust leadership. And we know that um, Bible teachers, they're held to, having a little problem with my phone here, um, are held to a higher standard to teach us the truth. And so I'd really admonish or encourage those of you in particular who teach the Bible, and all parents are teachers, to um, be able to have an honest conversation about where this time comes from and then that you, along with um, other believers or however you would word it, have chosen to redeem this time and to remember uh, Jesus' birth. So if that's your conviction, 
just make sure that you bring that um, truth in there so that um, the enemy can't get a foothold in there later on down the road with your children. You know, this generation is deconstructing. And for the most part, I would say it's pretty bad. People are deconstructing from God. But you know, some people are deconstructing from religion. And I have deconstructed from religion, so I understand that there's some good in that. So I probably threw a lot at you, but I'm not going to give you all of the answers. And so you can type into Google or Safari yourself, Christmas. You don't even have to type in origins of Christmas. And the first like eight things that are going to come up are all going to be all about paganism. And I think somewhere, maybe around the fourth link, we'll talk about the Puritans and um, their stance on Christmas and, and all of these uh, Christian holidays that we celebrate. And so the more research you do, you will find uh, the symbolism that Christians say you know, they're celebrating. So pagans, um, they do this whole dance around the tree. And I've kind of got a story for you on that. So my sister was a little tweaked when I first said, yeah, I'm just not so sure about this Christmas thing. But she actually had neighbors that identified as pagans and they would do this whole weird thing around their tree. And she went, oh my gosh, like, I really got to think about what I'm doing carrying a tree into my house and saying that I'm a Christian when I'm doing the same thing they're doing and and they mocked her about it and um, that's probably all I should share on that because I actually didn't ask her permission to do that um, so yeah and then we know in Jeremiah it says not to bring a tree into your house um, Messiah didn't tell us to even honor his birth before he left so, you know, am I saying that we can't honor his birth? I'm not saying that. I celebrate birthdays, and so I think birthdays are pretty great. I'm just saying we need to be careful. We need to be armed so that we don't cause other people to stumble because, you know, the enemy, he's going to and fro, and there are people that are pagans, and there are Satanists and occultists, and um, I'm not saying we should let them ruin everything. Again. Follow your own conviction. I believe that two people can be found doing the very same thing, and one found right before the Lord and one not. So it's it's all about the heart. But I tend to cleave to a very literal hermeneutics, and so I take the Bible very literally, and so I don't really get in the business of doing what the pagans do or redeeming it. It's it's just not how I'm built. It's not how I function. It, it actually really shuts me down. Um, so that's all I'm going to say on that. It's not my job to uh, tell you what to do, but it is my job to arm you and to love you and to do that the best that I can is to tell you what I know and try to point you in the right, right direction. And of course, the right direction is always Messiah. So happy holidays, and I will talk to you again soon. Bye.